from the outset. The soft I should degrade to lose two seconds after just 10% race distance, but it should be about 2.2 seconds quicker than the hard from the off. The only specification for how the tyres will continue to degrade after that is that the FIA want a sudden drop in tyre performance, you know, often referred to as the tyre cliff, to be engineered into the design. And I am fascinated to know how the FIA expects tyres to be designed to behave within such tightly defined parameters. As good as Pirelli are, and they are really good, despite what you may think, we've all seen how hard it is to get tyres to behave in such a way that we force a two-stop strategy within the constant change of state of F1 development that continues to tires more effectively than ever. If they pull it off, great, but it sounds like a hell of a challenge to me. So we've got some big changes ahead for how the cars manage their tires, their heat, their gradation, and their part in the overall suspension. But bear in mind there are still a whole raft of changes coming for 2021. Some technical, some sporting, and we'll have to wait for them all to be signed off to begin to speculate on how all these rules will work together and what solutions we'll expect to see in three years time. Thanks for watching this video. Now I'm going to start doing something a little extra on these videos for those that watch them through this channel. A mini Q&A over the end credits. So if you want to ask a few short questions for me to answer at the end of the next video, leave it in the comments and I'll pick a few to answer. It can be about F1, about my opinion, or I don't know, my cat's name. Just anything I can answer briefly. So let's do a few now. Question 1. So here T asks if I think the massive suite of rule changes of 2021 are about to mess everything up or if they'll be good for the sport. Well, we don't know what they all are by yet, but it seems to be taking a long time finalising them all because they're trying to get them right. For example, I think they're going to scrap most of the power unit changes because half the reason they were changing everything was to attract new suppliers. But that's not working, so they may as well save money by not changing much at all. I think minimal changes will allow the field spread to close up and teams to save money, but uh, well thought out changes here and there to improve the sport and the show will do well. I think these tyre changes, for example, are good. Malkin asks, what are the chances that fuel becomes standardised like tyres? Very low. The teams have very complicated relationships with their fuel suppliers as they're often their oil and lubricant partners too and they spend a lot of time working with them on various parts of the engine mission. They also get a lot of money out of partnering with big name petrochemical bands so I would expect a lot of pushback on such an idea. 